A few days back, I have shared a video on how to using VBA code to create multiple folders. And after that, I have got a lot of replies from people asking me to share more VBA codes to save time and automate their tasks. And that is why today I come up with this code that can help you to create more than 100 Excel workbooks in a single click. So make sure to watch this video till the end. And now let's get started. All right, so I want to start off with opening the folder that I have on my desktop. And in this folder, I have my workbook where I'm going to write this code. And I want to add 10 more workbooks within the same folder. So I'm going to open this workbook. And then in this workbook, I'm going to go to Developer tab. And I will click on Visual Basic. And now I need to insert a new module here so that I can add my or I can write my code there. So I would click on insert and then module. And here I have my code window where I can write a new code. So as I've already written this code, so I'll just paste this code here. And now I'll simply run this code to add 10 new workbooks in this folder. So let me open the Visual Basic Editor and this folder simultaneously. And then let me show you how this code actually works. So you can run this code from your toolbar where you have this run button, or you can also use the simple key that is F5 to run this code. So here you can see I have 10 new workbooks, which are just created by the code I have written. And if you want to insert more workbooks instead of 10, like you want to add 50 or you want to add, you know, 100, you can do that. The only thing is when you run a code to insert like 50 or 100 workbooks, it will take a few, maybe one minute to run the entire code. So you just need to make sure that, you know, you, you can wait that much to insert, you know, that kind of count of workbooks. That's the only thing. Let me show you if you want to create 100 workbooks with a single click. So I'll change this number from here. So now I'm going to run this code to insert or create 100 new workbooks with a single click. So here I have my all the new 100 workbooks in the folder, in the current folder. All right, so let's understand how this code actually works and how you can edit this code to make it useful for you. So first of all, we have a few variables to store some values within the code. And then we have this line that gives you the path of the folder where, you know, the, the actual file is saved. And along with that, we have your know, concatenate a uh, backward slash. So when I use this, let me show you. So it gives you the path of the folder and it also add a backward slash at the end. Now, after that, I have this loop that runs for 10 times, one to 10. And with this line, we have this variable which stores the name of the workbook. So every time this loop runs, it gives workbook underscore and then a number. So this number is derived from this counter, one to 10. So First time it will give workbook underscore one and then two and then three, then four, so on and so forth. And along with that, we have the extension of the Excel file that is dot Excel SX. Now, after that, we have this method, which adds a new workbook. And now after that, we have dot save as method that saves the workbook that is just created with this line. And then, so this line of code uses the folder path that we have here and also the name of the workbook workbook underscore and then the counter one two three four and then the extension of the file and in the end we have close method that close the workbook after saving it so this line of code create a new workbook this line of code save that workbook using the folder path and the workbook name and this line of code close the workbook after that 
So when this loop completes its run from 1 to 10, you get a message box that says 10 workbooks has been created in folder path, which is the actual folder path we have from here. And now if you want to increase or decrease the number of workbooks, all you need to do is you need to edit the number of loops in this code. And let's say if I want to create 5 workbooks instead of 10, so I'm just going to change it from 10 to 5. And if you want to have 100 workbooks, all you need to do is enter 100 here or you need to use or you need to edit the message from the message box as well. So that's the only thing that you need to you know, change from here. Now in this code, I have made a few changes and now you can use this code to get names of the workbook from a range and then create new workbooks using those names. So let's say if I want to have new workbooks based on the name that I have in this range A1 to A10 in the same folder where I have my current workbook. And now let me run this code. All right, so here I have 10 new workbooks using the name that I have in the range in the same folder where I have the current workbook. So this code also works like the first code, but there are few things that has been changed. The first thing that you know I've added is I've turned off the screen updating and display alerts. And then again, we have the folder path, the same folder path. And in the loop, we are again using 1 to 10 to, you know, to create 10 workbooks. And instead of using a common name of the workbook, we are getting names from this range, range A1 to A10. So as we have the counter 1 to 10, so this loop will take name from the first cell and then it will take from the second, third, fourth, you know, with each loop. And if you want to change that loop, you just need to change the number from here, from 10 to 100 or, you know, 10 to 20, whatever. Now, and if you have names in a different column, you can edit that column number from here. So one means the column A. And if you have names in the column B, you just need to change one to two. That's it. Now moving forward, here we have this if statement that checks the cell. So every time a loop runs, it checks the cell first. If you have that value here, you have the name here, it will only create the new workbook then. Otherwise, it will not create a workbook because there is no name. So that is why it will not create a new workbook. It will skip that cell and move to the next cell and then create a new workbook using the new name, the next name. And the rest of the code is exactly same. It creates a new workbook, saves it using the folder path, workbook name, and then close the workbook. And you get all the workbooks in the same folder. 